you can depressurize each hydraulic reservoir independently. Let's take the blue hydraulic system. Open the blue ground service panel. Here is the blue reservoir access door. Don't forget to open, safety and tag the circuit breakers. To depressurize the hydraulic reservoir, we can use ground equipment or not. If not, on the ground service panel, turn the cap assembly of the reservoir depressurization valve clockwise through 90 degrees. Caution! Protect your hands and face from the air which comes out when you open the manual depressurization valve of the reservoirs. It is possible that the air is hot and contains hydraulic fluid. Listen to hear if all the air is released. The pressure drops down, as you can see on the air pressure gauge of the reservoir. Keep the depressurization valve open if it is necessary to depressurize a reservoir during a maintenance operation. This prevents accidental pressurization of a reservoir. The depressurization valve is closed when the maintenance operation is completed. To pressurize the reservoir again, make sure that the depressurization valve is closed. Note that the reservoirs are pressurized through the air pressurization manifold. Thus, they are pressurized at the same time. Open the blue hydraulic compartment door to get access to the air pressurization manifold. Install the RAT safety device with its flag. Note that for better comprehension, here the flag is removed. Remove the cap from the ground connector. Connect the pressurizing tool to the ground connector. Now, turn the nut to open the ground connector. Open and adjust the air bottle's valve. Fill the reservoir until 50 PSI is shown on the reservoir pressure gauge. Turn the nut to close the ground connector. Close the bottle's valves. Remove the pressurizing tool. Install the cap on the ground connector. Remove the rat safety device. Make sure that the work area is clean and clear of tools and other items and all access panels closed. Close the circuit breakers. Servicing procedure to top up the blue hydraulic reservoir. Some precautions have to be taken. Make sure that the speed brakes and spoilers are retracted the thrust reversers are stowed, the landing gear is extended and doors closed, the forward and aft cargo compartment doors closed, depending on the system to be filled. All the other hydraulic services must be in a normal position.
but do not depressurize the system reservoirs. So, stop any supply of hydraulic power to the blue hydraulic system through the ground connector. Put warning notices in position to tell people not to pressurize the hydraulic systems. Electrical power being available, on the ECAM, check that the blue system pressure shows zero. If not, operate the rudder to reduce the pressure to zero. Safety and tag the appropriate circuit breakers. Check that the blue reservoir pressure and the accumulator pressure are normal. Now, let's fill the blue system. Open the green service panel. Remove the cap and connect the flexible hose. Above the panel, you find the filling hose. Remove its cap, connect the filling hose to the fill valve. Go to the yellow service panel to take the handle and fit it to the refilling hand pump shaft. Notice that it is possible to fill any of the three hydraulic reservoirs from one place. It is also possible to fill the reservoir with a hydraulic service cart connected here. Put the hose end in the hydraulic container. Turn the selector to the blue system position. Make sure that on the quantity indicator, the blue light comes on. Operate the pump. Monitor the increase of the fluid level on the quantity indicator. If there is no electrical power available, the fluid level can be checked on the reservoir itself. Stop the flow when the pointer is at the end of the green line. Turn the selector back to the neutral position. On the quantity indicator, the blue light goes off. If a reservoir is overfilled, you cannot pressurize it correctly. Thus, you must drain it. Remove the handle from the hand pump and put it in its stowage position on the yellow service panel. Remove the filling hose and reinstall the blanking caps. Put the filling hose back in its stowage position. Close the ground service panels. Circuit breakers closed. The working area is clear.